I appreciate you guys for making this shit real basketball. You know, so many times we get out here in the summer yeah. and we want to do a bunch of shit we're not going to do. I'm not going to come out here and do what I'm not going to do. Tell it. It's no point. So you can talk and be like, yeah, that's never going to force me to get outside of myself. You know what I'm saying? I started talking to you. You started getting the ball. You want to take jump shots and never crash the offensive board right. again. You're not going to make it shooting jump shots. You're going to make it by hustling and getting offensive rebounds, getting stops. You know what I'm saying? Gabe, I just beat you in all these sprints. That's bullshit. And it's my first time on the court. Up and down. That's bullshit. You trying to make a team. How are you going to make it? If Pascal Siakam is outrunning you, if Fred Van Vliet is outrunning you, you'll never fight. You know what I'm saying? So we can talk IQ shit all we want. But at the end of the day, motherfuckers got to play a role in the NBA. Yes. It's two motherfuckers on a team that can do what the fuck they want to do. And 13 other motherfuckers, they got to play a role. <laughs> they can do what the fuck they want to do. Everybody else got a role. So you're going to either master your role or you're going to get the fuck out. And it's just that simple. And running hard, two minute sprint? Really? What the fuck on his job? That's bullshit. You don't work hard. And don't tell me, oh, it's just the end. Because that's the end of the fucking playoffs. Ask them how hard it is to win a championship. It's the end. Why motherfuckers lose? Because they can't get to the end. You can't get to the end. So I watched y'all do this two minute sprint, and maybe 10 people took it serious. There's 40 motherfuckers in here. Maybe 10 people took it serious. Why? Because you think you're done when you won't make it to the end. That shit's hard as fuck. And when you finish, you're exhausted. And everybody sit here, nobody's exhausted. You don't push your fucking self. It's like 35 motherfuckers. Do this. The line was right there. They stop. You don't want it. You gotta want this shit, man. We can talk IQ. We can talk all of this shit. But at the end of the day, the motherfucker who wanted more is going to get it. So I promise you, I'm going to want it more. Ain't nobody going to want it more than me. I may not be the best ball handler, shooter, but ain't nobody going to fucking want it more than me. And that's a skill. Yes. That's a skill that, by the way, anyone can possess. Anyone can have that. I'll be honest, I used to be the biggest Draymond Green hater. Like, I despise this dude. When he was poking people's eyes out, talking trash constantly, well, he still does that. But he's grown on me a lot. He truly loves the game of basketball, and that's actually saying a lot for today's players because guys like Ben Simmons and Kyrie are willing to sit out constantly or find reasons not to play. I feel like Draymond takes offense to people that don't take the game seriously, and it's shown in this clip. He really cares about these players and he wants them to succeed, but they have to be willing to put in the effort, and he's just giving them the truth. They probably think they're putting in a lot of work, but he's been there. So many players today don't take the game seriously or just try to look good for their social media. They're not actually hustling. And that's not exclusive to the NBA. It's become a trend now to just look good, make jump shots, and everybody tries to be like Steph Curry, even though they're never gonna be like Steph Curry. And Draymond even mentioned that when he said, you're not gonna make it taking jump shots. Like he's just being real. He's like, you're not gonna ever be able to make that shot enough to make the NBA. But what you can do is hustle and play defense. But as always, I want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. How do you guys feel about Draymond? He has the podcast now. He's opening up a bit more. Do you guys like him more? Or does he still annoy you with some of his antics on the court? And leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And subscribe for more NBA content just like this. And I will see you in the next upload.